So I picked up this P4X survival torch. I had a friend that had one of these and it was really cool. I really liked what it was about and I wanted one for myself. So I picked up this one is the large size and it's called prepared 4 X. So the P4X stands for prepared. And again, this is a survival torch. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box and see what this thing comes with. So it comes in this nice little burlap bag. Then when you open the bag, you get a little, you know, instruction sheet on how to do it. Survival torch, four steps, pretty simple. And it comes with this filament rope here. And the cool thing about the rope is it's not just your standard bit of burlap rope. I mean, it's pretty thick. I mean, they've compressed this really well, so it should last a while. But from my understanding, it has a little bit of fuel infused in it. So that way it makes it just really easy to light. You can smell a little bit of fuel on it. Not much. It smells very faint. So the neat idea about this is, is this is your, your striking rod here. This is your scraper. So you're striking against the striking rod with the scraper to make sparks. And you strike against the rope, which, you know, you're supposed to fray this out really good. I'm actually going to work on fraying it out. You don't want to just fray it out like this. It's going to be a lot easier to light if you really fray this out. The better it's frayed, the better it is going to be to light because it can catch those sparks. If the sparks are just hitting it and bouncing off, you're not going to get as good of contact with them to light it up. But if you've got this thing where it's really nice, like a cotton ball, and it's really nice and flared up, I mean, just one hit and it should spark up. So I'm going to go ahead and flare this out and I'm going to bring it outside and we're going to test this thing. So a couple more things that I wanted to show you on this. So this striker here has kind of a sharp edge here. It's not like super knife sharp, but it's, as you can see, it's, it's got a sharpened edge here and it's got a sharpened edge here. And then down here, it's got kind of like a serrated edge here going along here that, you know, you can use these for different things. Of course, you know, you'll probably want to use this part here for striking, but having this little grab tooth here just gives you a couple extra features, basically, of this little tool. You could dig a hole if you needed with it or, or dig out some wood or whatever it is you need to do. You know, this is here and it's a multi-use type of tool. And then, of course, when you're not using it and you're wanting to put it up, I mean, it's exactly the same size as the striker bar and everything else. So it's just going to go back into that bag you know, nice and compact. All right, so I don't know if you can see very well on there, but it's nice and frayed. What I did is I just used my fingers and I really just kind of twisted them back. They're all twisted rope on top of twisted rope on top of twisted rope. So if you just kind of untwist them and fluff them up like this, you should be good. Now, what I understand, as you can see, I've never even striked this yet. This would be my first time striking this. But from what I understand, you just put this against the ferrule rod good, slide it, and put this at the very end so that the sparks can go basically right into the string. Oh, and there it went. That was not hard at all. Super easy. And then to control it, you can pull this in if you want to make a smaller flame, get a little more precise. And then to get rid of the fire, you just pull it into the tube, basically kills it out. Perfect little camping tool, survival tool. I mean, if I'm stuck somewhere, I know I want fire, you know. So this I'm actually going to keep in my truck and I'm pretty positive. I'm going to be giving away the coolest Christmas gifts this year. Lights up really easy, goes out really easy. And they were even saying like these ropes will last for like three hours, constant burning. And if you're just using it like I did there to start like a little fire or something, transfer the fire to a fire pit, whatever you're doing. I mean, I can't imagine you won't get thousands of lights out of a rope like this. So. I mean, it's not short. Look how long this rope is. I think they said it was three feet long. That is a long rope. So, yeah, very cool tool. Totally give it two thumbs up. Five stars for me. Well, I hope y'all found this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.